has been a hard-fought series thus far, and it could come to an end here in game number six tonight. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. Different, and we are underway. Quick pass to Patterson. Slides the puck over. Too many bodies in the way. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Puck grab by Marchenko. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, a clutch save! And that's intercepted by Kachuk. Puck scooped up by Wierenski. Moves it to Marchenko. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Johnson. And he takes the dish. Comes up with the stop. Takes the feed. Moves the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Grabs control of it at the point. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. Moves the puck to Marchenko. Quick feed to Goudreau. Big time stop. The Senators are on the attack. Big play inside the defensive zone. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Oh, he saved him. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing, and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And, man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. And that goes off the player in front. Takes possession. Takes the puck behind the net. Centering pass in front. And nothing materializes on that chance. They've got numbers here. Shot. Scores. It's in the back of the net. Sometimes when you're an odd man rush, you can overthink it, James. You can overpass, not here. They execute perfectly with precision passing, and you can tell there was no hesitation. They were driving, and they capitalized. The Senators land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Oh, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. A pair of goals just 20 seconds apart. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. has some choice words for his bench right now and you can just see the negativity on his face and on his demeanor because his team really didn't come ready to play now they're trailing in this game they got a mountain to climb we haven't even hit the midway mark of the period ottawa's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes leading by two jenner's won the draw center Merzlikens robs his opponent after that last save, and you can just see the shooter is in disbelief. Can't believe he came up with that one. But what it does is it sends a message to his team to start playing. Start playing in front of him, and they need to answer the call. Solid shot to slow him down. Back to the point it goes. Fantastic save! Looks to make a play over to Amadio. Ottawa's got him along the wall. Shot! Good save! Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Rager has got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And that's poked away by McEwen. They fight for it along the board. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. 
Sillinger is going to play into the corner. Taken along the wall by Sanderson. Handles the pass. Here's a short pass to Trigger. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. Up along the wing. He got all of that one. Quick pass to Trigger. Oh, great move to sidestep the check. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. And a great save. mark of this period. 2-0 is the score. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, win it perfectly. What a save. Wierenski stick handling in his own zone. Here's a chance. Omar's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Ottawa's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. Columbus takes possession after that offensive zone face-off. Scores him in front. Oh, what a save there, James. I mean, that situational awareness at its finest, knowing exactly where the threat is in that slow slot and taking all the space away. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Tries to feed it across. And now he moves it quickly to Patterson. Columbus will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Perron. Picked off by Marchenko. And he takes the pass. Ottawa's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. with a stick. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Into the attacking end. Quick shot! And that's deflected off someone in front. Rips it! Steps up with the block. Can't maintain possession. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Huge steal in his own end. Here's a pass to the middle. What shot. And he rings the post. Ottawa's players on the bench are shaking their head. They can't believe that didn't go in. Scores! That's three in a row. Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Well, this is a hard-working goal as well, James. You gotta fight for that inner area of the ice, you know, and when you're in that low slot area, it ain't easy to get to that spot. And then when that puck is on your stick, you know that you're gonna come into some heavy traffic. Great job to find the back of the net. In the final moments of this period, the Senators have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Stick lands from the puck here at center. Skates to the crease. And the lands clogged up blocking that. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Monaghan. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Snaps it on net. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. We get a stoppage in play. Almost energy in front of that net. Well, there's some reasons to get on it, but the ozone possession time is certainly up. They needed this rest. It's a great play by the tender. Ottawa's got possession here in their own end. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And now he moves it to Gaudet. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Ottawa's been the better team here in the late stages of this first period. More shots, more goals, simple as that. Nice job tying up his opponent. Sends the pass over. And it comes up with the save. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Senators have it against the wall. Here's a blast, and he scores! So they make the most of the time remaining. Momentum. They'll have to find a way to start the next period the same way they 
ended the last one. Possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Merlikin's face is right after that first 20 minutes, James. He's been peppered all over the ice, and his team needs to shore it up and be back. And they right back with another. is also about the pass itself here, James, and when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Well, I love the response of the coach. His reaction says it all after that goal. Listen, they were down big, but they clawed their way back into this one. The Blue Jackets have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They've cut the deficit within one. Taken by Severson. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Columbus has it near the wall. Denies him! Olmark's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Columbus still needs one more goal in order to even things up. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Here's a feed in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Blue Jackets have it now. Ottawa's got possession here in the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Here they come up along the wing. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. The centers will glide into the dot. Ottawa's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it to Yurichek. And he takes the feed. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a save in front. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Ottawa's got the win off that draw. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Shuts him down. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Broken up in the neutral zone by Provorov. Paints it over. Oh, a shot save! Ottawa's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And says it just out of reach. it in his own end. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Hamannick's taking it from his own end. The Senators played along the boards. Now a quick pass to Gray. Oh, he'll walk that one back as he just puts it wide right in the slot. Well, not a lot of time from that area, especially when you're in the middle of the ice. A golden area, as we call it. But he's got someone on him, but he gets rid of it quick. Just misses. 
and he takes a shot, and the save. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Ottawa's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Off the draw, they take possession. Ottawa's got a hold of the puck. Takes the pass. Sends a pass over. And it's a quick pass to Marchenko. Oh, and that one comes up short as he just gets enough of that one. He's got a step. Not sure what happened there. But yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right. But his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Well saved by Over. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Columbus has had a lot of great looks offensively, but they continue to trail in the second. The Senators win it in the defensive zone. Slides it diagonally to cut it. Ottawa's moving it into the offensive end. Keeps the hold of the puck after that knock. Big time stop there. Corrales got the puck in his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Sends it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Receives the pass. Nice zone entry on the left side. Sent into the offensive zone. Columbus looks to break out in their own end. Feeds the puck over to Goodbranson. Grabs it in his own end. And now it's over to Corrali. Oh, smart heads up Reed. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Right through center and into the offensive zone. McEwen's tweet snaps in two and he gets back to the bench to get a new one and back into the play. And that pass goes off a stick. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. More than half the frame has been played here. Ottawa's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Senators take control of the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Amadio. Handles the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Columbus with a big defensive zone faceoff. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Across the line from center. The Senators gain possession in their own end. Trying to shake the defender. He's in the clear. The knocks him on the breakaway. Here's a shot. Scores. Brady Kachuk. Well, that's a great goal. I mean, you got to work to position, and that's exactly what happens here. The recognition that the shot is coming and just finding a way to get your stick on that puck. You may not know where it's going, but you want to get a handle on it. Ottawa's now up by two here in the second. They've really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And their first few strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. Columbus wins the draw in the neutral zone. Floats the saucer pass. Score! So look at that, the answer right back. The game is a large bunch of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. Man, that looked like a goal scorer's goal. Just a knack for the net, but it all comes off of a beautiful distribution. I mean, just eyes in the back of the head to be able to give that gift right to the stick. The Blue Jackets have new life here late in the second period after that goal. They've been consistent, James, throughout the two periods, and they're nearing the end of the second. They get rewarded for buying into the game plan. They'll need to take the rest between the second and third and find a way to recalculate and drive an attack, set the tempo in the third. Into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Turned aside. 
with the glove by Omar. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. The Chuck's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Columbus wins the draw here in the offensive zone. We'll talk about a friendly pin right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. They've been behind all game, but they've clawed their way back with good habits, and they find themselves at an even score. push the appropriate buttons when they're down and find a way to get this team back on track. And that's exactly what's happened after that last goal. It presents the equalizer. Now his team is ready. He's showing a ton of emotion behind the bench. Now it's about getting the go-ahead. Here in the late going to the frame, it's all tied up. Columbus wins it. But picked up by Severson. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, Bell, and he's down for the count. Columbus has it in their own zone. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Wierenski. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Now over to Patherson. The Senators are across the line and into the offensive end. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Scores! And I think he put this in on his own. Well, uh, he did, James, and this is so deflating when you put it in on your own and you can just see the body language. He is not happy. The Blue Jackets have had no shortage of good looks so far tonight, but they still trail here as we approach the second intermission. Ottawa's won the faceoff at center. Quick feed to Giroux. Denies him! He got all of it! And the puck's knocked loose. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Takes the feed from his own end. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Columbus has possession of the puck. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. The bots cross the line and is on the attack now. Slides the puck over. And he serves it across to Jenner. There's the horn, two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Ottawa's ahead in this high-scoring affair, but it is action-packed. One team scores, and the other team says, yeah, no, it's my turn now. I mean, the counter-attack has been unbelievable. Columbus has put a tremendous amount of shots on net, but they still trail here early in this third period. And they take possession here in the offensive zone, and time to go on the attack. Penalty coming up here as the officials all over that slash. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Here comes the sentence. The trailing by one and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. He grabs the puck here at the point. Picked up along the boards by Jenner. And he connects with the long bomb. Fires it on net. And it goes off the iron and stays out. The Blue Jackets are trying to shrink their deficit in this game. They're playing aggressive in the offensive zone, and they just wire one off the post as they try and claw their way back in. Scores! A power play goal! Well, 
successful power play is all about getting the PK to move, and that's exactly what they've done with their motion and their switching of positions here, James. They got the look they wanted, and they finished it off. There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice, and when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly, and they're able to hammer it home. Ottawa's taking a two-goal lead to jump out here in period number three. Well, and they're in attack mode, aren't they? I mean, this is just a different team to start this third period. Now it's about maintaining that control, that killer instinct, and trying to ride it to the finish line. That's set of ice now. He grabs the puck. Columbus gains a hold of possession. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Moves the puck along the half wall. Angles it over to Severson. Has some smart heads up defensive play by Giroux. Tries to feed it over to Wawrenski. Let's it go. Oh, and he just puts a line in him. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Nice zone entry from the middle. Here's a short pass to Sanderson. Redirected off a stick. The Blue Jackets have the puck now. Carries it in. Works it across to Wawrenski. Now you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Good stand-up hit. Puts it on net. Blocked in traffic. Still keeps the hold of the puck. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. Takes a hit, he goes down on the ice, toss up the puck. The Blue Jackets look to start the transition game. Battling for it along the board. The Senators have it now. Here's a chance. Makes the save with the chopper. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Columbus with possession in their own zone. The Blue Jackets carry it along the wall. Tries to dangle on the puck, skips away. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. And coach is looking for an explanation here from the official. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the refs here because he wants to know why his team is being penalized more often and is clearly having a factor in the game. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Driving right to the front, and a great save! Well, he's got such a great set of hands, and he just plays such patience. I mean, he makes his opponent move first, and that's exactly what he wants, to manipulate them and create space for himself. He gets to the net, and the goaltender makes a huge save. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. A chance right in front. Oh, and he steps up with that glove to stop that one. Corrales ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Senators win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Wierenski's got it along the boards. Wax it into the offensive zone. Ottawa's got the puck in the defensive end. A little back and forth. Takes the feed. Slides it across. Batherson's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got the bars. There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. Well, this is just a fantastic play. I mean, he's known for having great hands, James, but he manipulates his opponent. He opens up a lane and makes that beautiful pass, which leads to the goal. Ottawa's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. The 
Raiders gain possession along the wall. Traeger has got it in the defensive end. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Slides the puck across. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. And that somehow stayed out of the net. And now he moves it quickly to Provorov. They fight for it along the boards. Columbus will play the puck from the corner. Handles the pass. McEwen's carrying it ahead. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Feeds the puck up to Finn Tilly. Poked away in the defensive end. Ottawa's got the puck. Picks off the pass. The Senators take possession in the defensive end. Oh, he'll feel that one. Columbus looks to get things going now with the puck. Ottawa's looking to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly to Amadio. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Denied by Merzlikens. Now a quick pass to Goudreau. Columbus has it against the half wall. Knocked away. The Senators move the puck in the defensive zone. Avoids the poke check. Picked off by Harris. Slides the puck across to Corrali. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Loses his balance on the play. Net knocked off. It's Mooring. We'll get a face off. Face off looming as both centers get into position. The Blue Jackets win the draw. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. And now it's good by Sillinger. Slides it back to the Blue Jackets. Two James, you get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. The Blue Jackets have to find a way to get a couple more here if they want to try to salvage this one. Taking calculated risks, James, and jumping into the attack and pressing upwards. Now, you may give up some opportunities the other way, but you got to go for it. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Oh, he got rocked and dumped right into his own bench. Well, he's getting a clear message to get out of here. The only good thing is it's his own teammates that can pick him up. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. They put the puck into the offensive end. Puck grabbed by Jensen. And he takes the pass. Fires it! Comes up with a glove save! Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. The Blue Jackets are running out of time to even things up here. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they trail late in the third. Puck is dropped. He wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Passes it over. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. On the sequence of saves, I love how he's strong he is in his set position here, James. You can see that he gets square to the shooter, and that makes the second save easier. And he has the answer on that one. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. They have really got the second one out here. There's a hit on the play. And they skated out of the danger zone. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Provorov. From the left wing, takes the feed. Final horn is sounded. 
bringing this one to an end. A huge response to even the series that we're going to Game 7. Can you even pick one way or the other here, Cheryl? Oh, I don't know if you can pick one way or the other, but I, I got to lean towards the team that just tied it up. I mean, belief on that bench right now is at an all-time high. And you can talk about skills on both sides. Obviously, it's there, two top teams playing. But you have to look at the, what is going to be the difference maker. And often, it's something so small, like belief, which is actually huge. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. See ya.